This is Mr Cockcroft, Assistant Principal and Head of Sixth Form at St Paul's Catholic School. The following slides go through some information about our outstanding Sixth Form and the courses and enrichment that we offer, a little bit about the school day and our expectations. The Sixth Form is open to all students across the city and county. Applications can be made via PS16 or there is an application form on the school website. On the school website you can also find email contacts and if you've got any further questions, we are happy to answer your questions via email. Our A-level results are showing good trends. Our number of A-star grades and A-grades are increasing. The pass rate's increasing. Our university success rate is at 100%. All those that apply go off to university. And the uh, applications to Russell Group Universities and some of the top institutions in the country is also increasing. Ofsted came in a couple of years ago and they talked about our outstanding sixth form. That is the top rating from Ofsted. And they talked about the strong progress that students made, but also that pastoral care and support that students receive over their two years in the sixth form. What happens in the sixth form? Where do they go on to? Well, those going off to university studied a great range of courses. And this is just one year group from 2019 and the different courses they went in on to study. We have one or two students go off to study medicine and one or two go off to study pharmacology and psychology. But there's also a great range of different courses. And this list is always quite interesting to have a look at. Those that didn't go on to university went on to apprenticeships. These are degree level apprenticeships. So they work for four days and they go to university for one day and they get the advantage of working, getting a salary and also gaining their degree. And in the last couple of years, we've had some students take up some really interesting apprenticeships with Rolls Royce, the police and some of them working at architect companies doing CAD CAM and designing. Of course, it's not just about your A levels. It's about building you as a person and giving you more opportunities. And we try to do that with our enrichment program. We offer the EPQ, which also carries the bonus of extra UCAS points to help with university. But there's also things to help with your well-being, clay pot therapy, sport, art therapy. We have the debating society and psychology club. Lots of different things going on and we'd like to invite lots of guest speakers in to talk about personal statements, finance and applications to university. One of the opportunities in the sixth form is to join our student leadership team. Here we've got our head boy and our head girl, but they're supported by some senior prefects also that lead on sport, events, charity and chaplaincy. And they will organise lots of different things that go on in the university. And they also develop important leadership skills and teamwork skills as they do these and carry out these activities. The summer between year 12 and 13, we send our students off and they do lots of different things, virtual summer schools, work experience. Um, some of them attended Nuffield summer placements. This is a four week work experience, working in industry or some of the big universities in Leicester and Leicestershire. And they have some really interesting project titles, some of them are which are on the screen now. This is our subject offer. So these are the subjects that we offer. It's mainly A-levels at St Paul's. So all of those subjects, apart from applied science, are A-levels. Applied science is a level three BTEC, which is the equivalent of one A-level. And the applied science covers three sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics. And it looks at science, how it's used in the workplace. And all the others are A-levels. Um, you'll notice that four of them are highlighted in a different colour. I'll come back to those, but they've got slightly different entry requirements if you wish to study those here at St Paul's. We also have a one year level two course. This allows you to reset GCSE maths, English language, double science, and also take a BTEC in media. The idea is this is a stepping stone. If you don't quite get the grades to get on to A-level courses, but you're really interested in studying A-levels the year after, you can boost your GCSEs with this course. It's limited. There's only 15 places on this course. It's a small group, and we just have the one group in the sixth form.
So entry requirements, you're working hard now for your GCSEs, what do you need to get? Well, we're looking at five passes at grade five. Now those five mass passes must include your English language and maths. So they are key important subjects. And then three other passes. So it's five passes at grade five, including your English and maths. The subjects that were highlighted, the sciences and maths on the previous slide, they, um, they require slightly different requirements. If you want to study any of the sciences at A-level, you need a grade six in triple science or 6-6 six, six if you're studying on the double science course. Maths also needs a grade 6 at maths if you want to study maths at A-level. And further maths, we have one, about four or five students taking further maths. And if you want to take further maths, you need at least a grade 7 in maths to be considered for further maths course. Pastoral support around the student is really important to us. We have the form tutor for daily contact and help write the reference for UCAS applications and university. You've got myself and Mr Morby, head and deputy head of sixth form. And then there are a variety of learning mentors, our school chaplain Seamus and external agencies that we use to support the students through their studies. This is the final slide, so there are just a, a few key points about the school. We do have a dress code. The staff and students in the lower school are very smart. And here is a list of uh, items that are permitted and items that are not permitted to be, to be worn in the sixth form. School day is really important also. We expect all our students in at 8.45, and that is when they meet their form tutor and notices for the day. And obviously the form tutor will be important in writing the reference for their UCAS and university applications. All students also take one period a week, one hour a week of general RE, delivered by the RE team on a rotor and they study different things looking at um, ethics and different religions across the world and uh, they have topical debates as well. If you're looking to apply PS16, if you're a city student and you're attending a school within the city or in the county and now a lot of them are using what's called PS16 and you can... Uh, Tick the box and apply it via PS16. If you put St Paul's down as one of your schools, we will then be able to see your application and your predicted grades and your reference from your teachers. And then we can contact you about future events, which might include open days, taster events, welcome events, interviews and things like that. If you're not using PS16 at your current school, please just go to the website and you will find an application form that you can send into the school email address, which is sixform at stpauls.leicester.sch.uk. All the details can be found on the website. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.